Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to make sure that we create uh, a new company. If you've not subscribed to my channel up to this point, this is a moment to subscribe. I'm going to give you three seconds. What you're going to do is uh, go to youtube.com slash c slash braintemorg. Hit on it. When it opens, you click on the red subscribe button so that you can be uh, notified when next I make new videos. Now, if you've not given a rating on this tutorial, please go and give a rating. And I'm expecting you to give a superstar rating, all right? I've gotten so many five star ratings and it has helped a lot uh, to show that you appreciate what is going on. All right. Now, what we're going to do in this video is to create the, the, the page the create companies page if you've been observant you will notice that the edit and the create page are just similar they contain the same fields and then the only difference between the edit and the um, create page is that the edit page is actually editing something that already exists which means it needs an id the id of the item in the database so that it can edit but the create page is creating a fresh um, record in the database so it doesn't need an id Apart from that, every other thing is identical. So what do we do? We just simply have to copy the code in our edit.blade.php and paste it in the create, then modify it. So the code here, we'll just copy it and paste it here. To do that, I'll just control A on my keyboard then uh, of course, um, copy. And then go to my create page, which is empty, and paste. And then when we paste, the main thing we have to make sure is that there is no ID, all right? Uh, the first thing is to make sure that there is no ID. So in the method, in the action, you can, as you can see, it's going to companies of update instead of uh, this time around companies of create. Just to be sure, I just want to show you that you can, uh, whenever you're trying to deal with URLs, make sure that you can uh, go to the the Laravel page and confirm the URL. Now we can go to that Laravel page and confirm the URL. The Laravel page. Um, is photos that photos that create all right that is companies that create or slash create so here that create but we don't need an id so we delete this id so it's gone now cool and then for the rest of the 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 form elements i want you to know that since it's a brand new form we don't need a value because in the edit form we go and create the database get the values and prefill the fields so that the user can now edit but it's a fresh form that we're creating so we just need we don't need the values so the same thing with here we won't be needing the values we're looking for the value field oops so there is no value field here and this is quite surprising all right makes sense now text areas don't have value field they just have the contents of the text area in between them so i'm just going to remove the contents we don't need the content we just need the placeholder that will say uh, enter description code enter name code the rest of these things are just identical they're just identical so what we're gonna do is um here we don't need to view this company because we've not created it so what we can do is view list of companies list of companies or my companies my companies and it's going to be just companies field and uh, that sorts it so um instead of all companies just my companies this sorts it out for us and um what we're gonna do in next is to go to the company's controller and uh, scroll scroll to the um as you can see this is the edit it just retrieves uh this is the update method what it just does is update according to an id but then we have to we have to write a method that will help us to create all right so this is the create method all right so um from here we're supposed to display the this form to do that we just want to copy what we already have in the edits this so which is basically return the view the blade companies that create we're referring to the blade method in our resources we're trying to make a reference to this this file so companies that create as a file we want to load and we're not loading any other thing so i'm just going to delete that's it so when somebody visits this page it just loads this page for them and that's all so in the next video we will now write the function to store to actually store 
the details of the company in the database and that's it now um, most of the methods i'm writing here are like are not like 100 percent of the, all the things you need to check they're not like all foolproof or fail proof for instance in the delete method we're supposed to check if this user is an admin and has the authority to delete this but it's a little outside the scope of this and we'll do it for this video for now further down we'll get to that topic where we actually check if a user has an authority to do something before we actually allow them to execute it all right that's like access control but for now i want to get our mvp out and then run out some things all right see you in the next video if you're looking for the code for this um project just go to github.com slash c uh, slash dave or zoalo and make sure you give a star rating before you start downloading so that's where you get the code for this project all right see you in the next video